Hi Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. I'm going to ask the universe, angel spirits, and my guides for messages for Capricorn. What is going on for Capricorn? Wow. Someone could be thinking that this situation between the two of you is not moving forward. I think they're upset. But I don't think they're over this. Yeah. Eight of Swords is like something stalled or stuck, but it's not over. I think this person could be obsessing about you. They could be a Gemini, Pisces, Leo, Aries, um, Aquarius, Libra. But I don't think... Whoever this person is, Capricorn, they may act like they moved on or they're over it, but they haven't. Okay? Yeah, they're actually sad. I feel like they are obsessing. I think they think that the two of you would be a great match. Like, why aren't the two of you together? Why don't you want to be with them? Is kind of what I'm getting here. Yeah, I feel like they keep, like, I feel like this person is very persistent. Like, they... It's like they're trying to figure out how to get under your skin. They're trying to figure out how to get your attention. It's like they, everything, like, they just feel like the two of you would get along well. Like, you, you guys are meant for each other. This person is actually sad, the Five of Cups. They see you as a great catch. It's like they're trying every tactic they can to try to get you to notice them or to take them seriously or, like, to, get, to grab your attention. If you don't like them one way, then they're going to change and be something totally different. I get this person could change up their looks. They could change their hair color. They could change, you know, the way they're dressing. I, I feel like this person is just a little bit obsessed. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, they may even, if they can contact you, like reach out with just like the most odd request or message or like to get under your skin, to get you to fight. Like sometimes it's better, like if they can fight with you at least at least you're interacting at that point right what's the five of wands judgment and the six of swords. i feel like this person says things like i'm gonna move on or you know i'm leaving and they really they're really not two three coins three of wands and the six of coins they may even give you something capricorn this person may even um, try to give you something to catch your attention or they may see you as being very busy. They may see you as having like a busy schedule. You're always on the go. You have a, maybe you have other people interested in you. I just kind of get like this person, like can't I can't understand like why you don't want to be with them. Um, I don't I don't know how you feel about them they could have money they could be someone who's kind of spoiled maybe you think that this person acts spoiled or something like that it's kind of what i'm getting like this person always gets what they want but in your case they're not going to but uh, let me put this one also he got left behind let's see what is going for capricorn we got traveling dating mature man and communication so family I don't know if this is the same person in the reading or if, if this is a different person, but you have someone here who wants to travel to see you and date you. I think this person could... See, I'm kind of getting the energy of somebody who has money, who likes to throw it around, Capricorn, who likes to, you know, be very extravagant, fl fly on a jet, you know, expensive food, cars, that type of thing. And that's what's coming out of here as well. Like wanting to travel, take you somewhere, communication. They could be older than you. Capricorn. What else for Capricorn? Spiritual growth and a soulmate. Gossiping, though. Let me see. Gossip about money. Oh, that came out for someone else. I mean, this could be somebody when, if you were to date them, people would think, oh, yeah, they're just a gold digger. He, she's a gold digger or something, whatever. Maybe that's why you don't want to be with them. Maybe that's. Maybe there's, like, if you know this person at work, there's gossip going on around them. I don't know. What would this person say to Capricorn? What would this person say to Capricorn? I've been watching your social media. I'm sorry for breaking your trust. Well, then maybe that's what's the problem, if they did break your trust for some of you. Okay. I never felt anything like this before. I feel like this person always gets what they want, and you're something they can't have. I don't know if you're going to give in to them. I feel like they would um, give you gifts and be very, you know, lavish you with 
you know, trips or something, but I don't know if that even matters. I never felt anything like this before. I know you're the one for me. I know our souls into, are entwined and we got, I don't know how to talk to you. Maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know, Capricorn. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe they don't know how to interact properly. They're just used to getting their own way. Maybe they don't know how to put the effort. Maybe you're part of their spiritual path. Like it says, spiritual growth. Maybe you, because you're the nine of coins and it's like they can't have these what I'm feeling, but they're really drawn to you. And maybe you're part of their spiritual like wake up call or something like that. I don't know. What is Capricorn? What is this person feeling? Rejection. So have they never been rejected before? Are you like the first person to reject them and they just can't handle it? Because handle it? it says, I still want you. What else is this person feeling? There's some sort of healing. Yeah, okay. This is like, I don't know, some sort of, um, I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, like it says, spiritual growth on the card. What is Capricorn's advice, spirit? What is Capricorn's advice? Capricorn's advice. The Knight of Coins and the Nine of Cups. Eight of Wands to communicate with this person. I want to like take their offer, take their offer to go out. Have a good time. Maybe they're not what you're thinking. Maybe they are different. Maybe you're different. Okay. Knight of Swords, we've got the Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. Under the deck is the Ace of Cups. This person's not going to give up. Whoever this person is, there is a, some sort of soul connection between you and this person. Some sort of soul bound that I feel like is meant to be. But I don't think you realize that it's like something about like teaching them. Like Capricorn, like you have life lessons to teach them. Like the two of you are supposed to be together in some way. So, huh, kind of a weird reading, but you know, let me go to a different deck and see. What is the advice for Capricorn? What is the advice for Capricorn? Ooh, be careful, proceed with caution. The snake. Yeah, see, this is actually what I'm getting here. I, I'm getting like this person's spoiled. And like they are a snake. The devil with the ace of wands and the ten of coins, like they buy whatever they want. They feel like they can buy people or something. It's a key wish. You perceive with caution a snake, a key, something important wish. The feminine energy, there's a narcissist. They're coming back. Wow. So obviously, a narcissist can be a man or a woman. But so whoever you're dating, this person could be a narcissist. See, that's what I'm kind of getting here. So again, maybe your lesson is, or their lesson is that they can't have everything they want. That you're going to turn them down, Capricorn. I don't know. They've never been rejected before by someone. They feel like uh, this is some new things they can buy love. So they can't buy your love. That's what's interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Have a great weekend.